So the NUS, for those that don't know, is the National Union of Students. And it's basically sort of somewhere to the left of Jeremy Corbyn. And uh, <laughs> they, uh, the NUS delegates have called for the expulsion of the main student Jewish group. Uh, it's a non-binding breakout vote, but NUS delegates urged a ban on the Union of Jewish Students for, over its support for Israel. So its support for Israel being the support for the world's only Jewish state, and by the world's only Jewish state, I mean a slither, a tiny little part of the Middle East, a, a scintilla, if you will, of the Middle East. And they say, oh, we have to, you know, ensure that that isn't wiped off the face of the earth. And the NUS say, hang on a minute, lads, not too sure about that. I think you're going a bit far there. There are those nasty old Jews in the Middle East. And uh, I think that this goes to the very heart of the anti-Semitic strain that runs through the so-called academic left, right? Academic, the thicker than two bloody short planks. But I mean, Chloe, you were a student two minutes ago. Uh, do you <laughs> did you notice all of this nonsense? Well, obviously, this nonsense has exploded since October seventh. Yeah, so I finished yeah. university back in June. I think what's going on at the universities now is I think the students genuinely think that it is a completely clear, objective truth that Israel is evil and hence there is just no question that the universities cannot possibly have any investment in any business linked to Israel, anyone supplying arms to Israel. It cannot have be receiving any money from anybody who is Israeli. This is what is happening at the universities. All these crazy um, camps, these tent cities that have appeared, uh, they're of the museums in Oxford and now there are calls for the diversity whatever leader of the university to resign because he has come out yes. in favour of the tent cities saying that they should stay and then there's a concern that him as someone who is meant to be some kind of welfare leader that Jewish students are not going to want to come to him for help if they have an issue because they're not going to trust him so people were saying it was very inappropriate for, for him to do that so it's a shame to see this absolute nonsense going on at my university that I used to yeah. used to love and respect it's, it's uh, just going out of control. It's just a stupid trend. They're so privileged. I couldn't believe when we had at Columbia University, we had the students invading the university buildings, locking themselves in the university buildings with no permission whatsoever to do so. The universities are saying, uh, get the hell out of the building. You don't have yeah. permission to be doing that. But the students are saying, uh, we, you have to, as the university, you must come and bring us food and water and supplies mm. and whatnot. Mm. Oh, no, yeah, get the no. hell out Entitled. of the building, you privileged prats. Entitled little shits, that's what they are. You know, and Alex, I, I sort of identify this, you know, they're saying... Uh, they're saying that actually this is a form of, of Marxism and ultimately it's about power, right? And they're, they're, that's what they're seeking here. But it, at the Marxist idea has always said that there are the oppressor and then those who aren't oppressed. And you find that these students are cosplaying uh, the Palestinian people, right? They're trying to make out they've got no food, they've got no water, they've not got access to basic things. They're sleeping in tents uh, on the beautiful green outside of uh, uh, King's College in Cambridge and a beautiful ancient building. I, I think Cambridge is one of the most magnificent, beautiful places. Mm. It's just a shame that the students are there. And um, <laughs> the uh, I look at the, the rich history that's just been upended here. Now, I know that there's, you know, people start off young and then they grow up and, and realise that this is all very stupid. But this is what I would identify as luxury goods signalling, where no longer is it, will it do to wear a, a Prada bag or a Louis Vuitton? You know, you've got to actually show your, your virtue and your values through the activist movements that you participate in. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, you saw that that all sort of started with the Black Lives Matter yes. uh, protests where they had the hashtag blackout and the people were posting, uh, you know, black profile pictures for a couple of weeks and went back to normal after that and changed absolutely nothing. You know, what's really funny about that picture, Darren, is that well, not one, all those tents have been purchased by by clearly one person because they're all the same color. Uh, yeah. And and quite quite frankly, the juxtaposition between the building that they work in and they go to university in and sometimes possibly stay in, and then the fact they put themselves in tents outside, you just can't write it, can you? You just cannot write how stupid it looks and how out of touch it looks to the average folk and the people who really are sleeping rough on the streets yeah, and exactly. it continue to increase. It really, it really does. But as Chloe said, and this is no, no offense to you, Chloe, whatsoever, because you're extremely sensible uh, in every way, shape, and form. But there are a lot of kids who go to Oxbridge who have had a, a very, very wealthy upbringing, who have nothing to ask for, they're nothing to fight for, and therefore they find their their sort of um, you know this this trendiness of being uh, mm-hmm. a victim. A, a calling to them because they haven't ever had to suffer through it. So it's almost like a rite of passage. You have to say, well, you know, I was there in the Gaza protests, you know, oh, it's like, God. Oh, give me a, fucking yeah. Like break. you were in the bloody yeah. trenches. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They, 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 they see it akin to something that like the Vietnam war and it's nothing like that. And I, I and frankly, what are they going to do? What are they going to do to stop the war in Israel and between Israel and the Palestinians? It has been going on for centuries. It's been going on forever. It's been well, going since on Israel's hundreds. inception, absolutely. And, before, and actually, before they, but they, Israel's inception, yeah, before. yeah exactly. Because they were kicked out of Jordan, they were kicked out of uh, Egypt, they were kicked out. You can go back through history, you know, the entire, uh, as far as the memory can go, and Jews have been persecuted in that way. But where is where are these brats protests for the Uyghur Muslims in Chinese concentration camps? Where were their protests for those in Syria who uh, obviously were have been oppressed and and had uh, all sorts of phosphorus uh, chemicals thrown on them by President Assad? Where where are all of the protests and condemnation for these movements? I I, I just think it, it is it exclusively isolated to the Jews and that these people, if they genuinely were liberal progressives, would recognise that they are on the mm. wrong side of history. And if, it, if being in support of Hamas is being on the right side of history, then I say I want to be on the wrong side of history, actually. Can I just I'd like to be more... like that guy in, in 19, during Nazi Germany who uh, refused to raise his hand whilst the rest of the did uh but yes alex go on just one more thing just you know no other institution the nus would dare dare kick out any other religious group you imagine the uproar if they kicked out the the muslim group and of the nus or the christian group they wouldn't dare do it and, and it's so blatant this is so anti-semitic and we well, know, I don't that know about that the christian did, group they probably would to be honest maybe they would actually maybe they would but you know it, it's just so blatant the bigotry and hatred that's that's being bred in that institution is vulgar and it, the whole thing should have been shut down years ago Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.